Hello friends, this is Tara Jacobson of Marketing Artfully and today we're going to just do the very high level overview of how you can use pin clicks to find keywords to use on Pinterest. This is the start of a whole series. So if you already kind of know how to use pin clicks, you may want to go to one of the other videos in the series, but for now we're going to go top to bottom, top pins. This is any keyword. So say you were thinking about writing a post about healthy lunch ideas, right? So this will give you kind of the same thing as if we go to Pinterest, healthy dinner recipes, eating snacks recipes. The difference between this and mine, oh, we gotta do lunch. Maybe they will be the same ideas snacks ideas for work ideas snacks ideas for work so those are the top things that pinterest overall thinks are the good ideas i'm gonna say healthy lunch ideas and this is going to show us the top pins the reason you want to use this is you want to find out what kind they are so this is a single recipe top and bottom this is a cucumber salad. This is, oh my gosh, it has the recipe right on there. And that's something to think about. If you had this recipe, even if it's a top pin, and you're trying to get them to your content. Now, your content may be an Instagram post. It may be a TikTok video. It may be a YouTube video. It may be a blog post. It may be a Substack post. But if you're trying to get them to go from Pinterest to your content, then there's different considerations that you might want to have. This is sorted by the number of saves and tells you the position it's in, right? How many comments it has and all that. So this is really a good way to figure out what you want to do. The fifth pin is a roundup pin, single recipe, single recipe, single recipe. So you want to start thinking about, are you creating a roundup for this specific healthy lunch ideas? Are you creating a roundup or a regular pin or both? Is it just a picture pin? Is it a picture pin with words on it? Does it look like all the other pins in the series or do you want to go a little different way? Pin stats is amazing because you could take any pin you find on Pinterest so let's say healthy lunch ideas there's that 25 we can take this pin information and put it in here and it's going to load everything about this pin so it's now 41 high protein lunch ideas for work isn't that interesting that it's high protein so here is the different annotations that everybody thinks it's about now those are given by the boards it's on those are given by pinterest those are given by different areas but these would be really good to take a peek at so healthy lunch meal prep that's a really good idea easy meal ideas is not as lunchy but maybe you would want to use that and then the rest of them are more in the high protein vein so i'm mostly a vegetarian so i could maybe do 25 super filling vegetarian lunch ideas and that would help me to rank in a similar way but without stealing the emanuela's idea because she's already ranking for that right the ability to knock her off of that is going to be kind of hard but if you can find a new angle and do not worry we're going to talk about angles later in the series so Think about her different angles that she could have. She could have, so this is super filling. So this is somebody who wants to have not just a quick snack. There might be some work to this. This isn't easy. This is super filling. You're going to be high protein, maybe high protein. She also has a, a low carb angle. She could have back in the day an Atkins angle. These are protein lunch ideas, high protein lunch ideas, high protein foods. So you can even start to collect some angles in these annotations. Saved pins are just pins that, that you can save. I don't really use that. I love the rank tracker. And this is the keywords that I'm tracking. So dementia activities, Calyx cubes. Let's go down to my newest ones. And ooh, I got my to-do list on there. Um, 
new ones I'm trying to do, daily planner DIY, DIY planner ideas. And those are very different, right? You would think. And then the cool thing about pin clicks is now they're pulling in the volume. So yes, it's great to be ranking number eight for DIY planner. It's better to be ranking here because there's a higher search volume. But if we went up and looked around, we could find even a higher one, DIY planner notebook layout. So that would be a good one for me to track. You don't want to try to steal mine because I'm already doing them. You would try to look for different angles that you have. Search tracker's fun. It, you can put, I don't do it very often. You can put different keywords in here and track if the results have changed. So maybe you pick your highest volume, you know, the highest search ones, free printables. Let's see what it looks like. Free printables. There you go. Search drop down suggestions. Those are the ones. These are the guided search bubbles. So it'll tell you what are up here. Work school, easy kids. Let's see. Interest Explorer is one of my very favorite ones. This is how I do 90% of my keyword research. And that's because, yes, I can figure out that lunch ideas are a good idea, but I want to know what Pinterest wants more than what I want, right? Because I can write a post in any angle as long as I know the keyword that would be most relevant for it. So let's go with our lunch ideas. And we're going to do an interest explore for lunch boxes. Not good for me, right? I'm not making lunch ideas for little kids. No meat, no lunch meat, lunch ideas. And then you want to kind of look at this, pull it up and see yep, meal preps, cold lunch ideas. I was worried that it was going to be for little kids, but this seems like I could do that. And, and now we know that adult is something that I want to, to focus on. And then I also want to focus on women because I'm writing the blog post so that I'll have lunch ideas. So there's men lunch ideas, easy, healthy lunch ideas with rice. Now for me, that would be a really good one. But then you start to look here and only 74 people searched it. So even if I wanted to have some of my recipes with rice, that isn't the angle that I would take when I was doing my Pinterest pins or writing my blog post because there's not enough. Lunch storage ideas I kind of love. Not very many people search that. Easy lunch idea. We want to get, first we want to find the smaller, I always call it the tiny one, the little one. I wonder how tacos lunch, people love tacos. 60, 68, not enough. Hot, easy lunch ideas, hubby lunch ideas. How cute is that if you're, how about sack lunch? And there you go. I was just going to say, you're going to get disappointed and you're going to be like, nobody's searching for lunch ideas, but sack lunch ideas, they have, but sack lunch ideas, they have 5,000 people searching for. So that is a really good keyword if you're taking your lunch out of the home. I'm making lunch at home. So to go lunch grill ideas. Oh, I wonder how many there are searches. Not very many. Nobody wants to, to fire up the grill. I love those jar lunches. I'll check and see. Nope. Not enough people search. 146 people search. Not enough. I seen lunch ideas low carb right before I left. That would have been great for the post of the gal we saw before. Um, I'm trying to find short ones. Ready lunch ideas. Lunch ideas snacks. Keto easy lunch ideas. Other, other posts. Carb free. Low cal. Oh, noodles. I would love that, but I'm trying to eat healthy. Perfect lunch ideas. I bet you that's 57. 167. I was very close. Nobody's looking for that. So you want to find filling lunch ideas. Maybe that's how she got the idea for her pin. Because remember, she had as one of her calls to action or call outs that was filling, right? So that's the way you can start to find ideas. This is where I would always start looking to try to figure out what keywords are going to work with the idea I have. So let's do it if we're not doing food. 
let's say I wanted to do, what was the other thing I was thinking of? Oh, I wanted to cover lampshades. So I would do DIY lampshades and see if anything comes up. And you want to see lots of things. Now, this one has not as many as food does, right? But look at how many we have. And let's see DIY lampshades. There's no index page for us. Let's do lampshades DIY. 706 people searched for it. And this is exactly what I would do if I only had 706 people searching for something. Sh that shabby chic is a um, trademark term. So I would just come here and pull up the these all open. It only has 48, not good, 466, not good, 42, 75, 256. There we go. DIY lampshades, how to make. So what if we do handmade lampshades? Then I'm going to just start coming down this little rabbit hole of handmade lampshades, 7,000. Unique lampshades, 2,800. So that's the way I would go about doing it. I'm not going to pick kind of the angle or the topic to write about until I know that there's going to be a search volume associated with it because I could make fabric light lampshades posts or videos all day long, but if nobody's actually looking for it, then it doesn't matter. Account Explorer's fun. So you can go to your account and find out what Pinterest thinks it's about, which is super fun. So I rank for 48 keywords. Uh, I've improved on 10. These are the ones that I already ranked for. So if you're coming in from having a search console with Google and writing more content, oh, look, something new. What does it say? Oh, these are my top pins. Yay. And then they're going to talk about the boards coming soon. So that's really fun. But let's go back to Pinterest and let's do, what was it? Handmade lampshades. How to make a custom lampshade. Oh, not my pins. See, I've been looking at it, right? 42. And then Unknown Brewing is the one that's doing this, which doesn't seem to really ma match, does it? Uh, let's go find their Pinterest. Is it at the bottom? Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so Unknown Brewing. Let's see if we can find them. Unknown Brewing. Oh, I seen it. Unknown Brewing right there. Okay, so now we can find out what their count is about creative projects, easy tutorials, sustainable crafts, and unique handmade gifts. That's awesome. So they're matching what it is. They have 3.8 million monthly views. What are their keywords? How to make a dog gate for stairs. See how it's kind of clumped. That's, but there's hardly any volume. So DIY dog wash is their best, um, their best highest one. Oh, look at this one. DIY dog gate. They're number two. That's amazing. So they did really good. Let's go look at their pen. Quick and easy dog gates. So it's not just one. It's a lot of them. So that's another way that you can uh, use that account explorer. Last is keyword research, where you're just researching a keyword that you've already decided. So if we did, uh, again, handmade lamp shades. And I don't use this one as much. So we know there's 7,000. Uh, popularity is just how, how closely related this keyword is to the one you typed in. So it's not about popularity on Pinterest. It's about popularity to that same keyword, right? The reason why, I guess you could use this. I don't use this hardly at all. I use the interest explorer more, but here, this is kind of fun. You could do a handmade lampshades. And then I seen down here, there was a good idea for an angle ceiling lampshades, right? And let's see how this one does. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not loving this one, but you know, if you're doing a roundup, you could do an individual pin to that's that heading in the roundup. 
and get one more pin, try to get one more keyword and do all that. So hopefully that helps you figure out how to use pin clicks just at a super high level. This is Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.